Hey everyone, Kelly Joy here from the Chester campus. Hope you're having a great week. I'm just gonna share a couple of thoughts with you for today's devotional. Uh, we've been focusing in church life at the moment about gathering around the table together and building deeper relationships with one another. And so I wanna just draw our attention to this small but significant moment, this exchange that happens between Jesus and Peter. And it's where Jesus speaks into and prophesies into Peter's true identity. And we know that Peter experienced it all, didn't he? He experienced signs, wonders, miracles. He walked on water. He was at the Mount of Transfiguration. He dealt and wrestled with his own humanity, with his fears, with his doubts. And he was one of the disciples that was closest to Jesus. And even though this, this moment is small in the context of the bigger story, I think it's one that we shouldn't overlook. And it's in Matthew 16, 18. And it's where Jesus says to Peter, he looks him straight in the eye and he says, you are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And I love this exchange because it demonstrates the power that our words have in calling out, in speaking into the God identity and the God things in the people around us. And like I've said, even though it seems like such a small moment, it was a moment where Jesus demonstrated the value that he places on seeing people for not as they are, not as they have been in the past, not even for their future actions or what they might do, but for rather as they are in Christ. Because when Jesus looked at Peter and he said, you are Peter, they weren't just nice words, but they were a declaration that called out what God had placed in Peter. And it called out who God had created Peter to be. And he was saying, no matter where you're at, no matter what you've done or what you will do, this is who you are. And just as Jesus did, that is what we're called to do for each other. And for me in my personal life, some of my most powerful identity and purpose breakthrough moments have come because the people around me have seen something in me that I couldn't yet see in myself. Just like Jesus did with Peter, they looked me in the eye and they said, you are Kelly Joy. And it propelled me forward, it encouraged me, it strengthened me, it helped me renew my mind with the truth about what God says about me and what God is speaking over my life. Because when we see the God identity and the God things and the God promises and the God words and the God truth in the people around us, it causes them to be moved forward into the things of God for their lives. And this is how we love each other well. This is how connection grows. And as we're focusing on building deeper connections with the people around us, um, I just feel uh, a challenge from the Lord to all of us that we would be people who see each other and that we would be people who truly call out the God things in the people around us. And one of the things I had to learn uh, in previous seasons, and still there no doubt will be other seasons where this happens, where you might not feel seen, you might not feel that other people are recognising who you are or what God's placed on your life. And when I felt those things, I've had to make a decision to say, okay, I might not feel seen, but I have the ability to see others. So if that's you, if you're in a season where you're not feeling seen, I would encourage you start to partner with Holy Spirit to see other people because we reap what we sow, right? Ask yourself, who has God placed around me? How can I become their biggest champion? Because that's how relationships flourish. It's when we become each other's biggest champions, when we remind each other of who God says we are. And so connection happens in a beautiful way when we look each other in the eye and say, I see you. I have your back and I believe in you, just like Jesus did in that small moment with Peter. You are Peter. And so I'll just leave you with those thoughts. I hope it's encouraged you and I'm praying you have a, a very blessed week where you feel God's goodness pursuing you.